Hello, I'm going to share a story today by Anne Marie Stevens. This book is called Psy Makes a Friend, and Anne Marie Stevens is an author who lives in Virginia. So as we're exploring the 50 states and authors and books about different parts of our country, I thought I would share this book about Psy. It is illustrated by Tracy Subasak. I makes a friend by Anne Marie Stevens. Illustrated by Tracy Subasak. This is a fun author illustration. I had a chance to meet the author at a children's book conference, and it's a book that's been published. Those are the people who make the book by Boyd Mills Press, which is an imprint of Highlights Magazine which is incidentally based in Pennsylvania. So even just the making of this book took lots of people from lots of different states. What do you notice about this animal here? Some of us might have dogs, but do any of us have dogs that have three heads? There's a clue. There's something already magical and mystical about some of the characters in this story. And what about this character here? I bet that Psy might even be short for Cyclops. Someone with one eye. A mythological creature. Here is a note from the authors about mythological creatures. Myths are stories that help us understand the world. These creatures are from Greek mythology. A centaur is a half human, half horse. And a Cyclops is a giant with one eye in the middle of its forehead, for example. Now you may have heard of a dragon before, but I don't know how many have heard of a Cyclops. For short, his name is Psy. And Psy was born to build. Look at all those tools. With an eye for detail and the vision to create, he bends molds, and thump, thump, thumps his hammer until each masterpiece is complete. Are you a builder? Psy can make these. He can make these. He can even make these. But he can't make a friend. Not a real one, anyway. He can make imaginary friends and puppets and play creations, but he can't just make a real friend. Making a friend means venturing out. That can be very scary. So Psy prepares. He practices polite conversation. Oh, yes. The weather has been quite lovely. And he's pouring his imaginary friend or his robot friend some tea. He investigates his dog's flair for friendship. He sees how his dog is playing with other mythological creatures. I wonder how he makes a friend. He tries to look like a friend. He's putting on his best friendly face. It says, I can be your friend. Sai knows it is nice to share. Maybe he can make something to attract a friend. He can build a surprise. Not a seat. Not a box. Not quite a wagon. But he's creating something. His new friend will ride in a chariot. But it won't move without wheels what to do. Sai realizes he must make a trip to the market. He peeks, then creeps. Being brave takes time. Sai beams with confidence. Possibly not enough. He maintains good eye contact perhaps a little too much. He shows off his big wink.
Reconsidering the wink, he heads home. There, Psy raises and rotates until he has a rolling chariot for two. Psy is one. Who will be two? Looks like fun. He's taking it out for a test spin. At the market, the empty chariot awaits. Psy beams confidence, just the right amount. He maintains good eye contact, and someone else does too. Heart, Psy's heart goes thump, thump, thump. He shares what he has, and so does she. Making a friend means venturing out. Sometimes going out of our comfort zone. Hold on tight. New friends take flight in a chariot built for two. Sometimes it's hard to make new friends, but it can be so much fun. And here are some pictures that they have included of some of these mythological creatures. There's a phoenix and a centaur, a dragon and a hippogriff. And of course, there's the Pegasus, the golden ram, the Medusa, and the Hydra. Lots of mythological creatures. I so enjoyed reading with you for the masked reader, and I hope you enjoyed the story today.